Those of us in the department who study the topic of technology and society, we all consider from different disciplinary backgrounds and different research topics the question of how technology shapes and is shaped by social worlds. The book project I'm currently working on, which I'm tentatively calling Keeping Track, looks at the rise of digital self-tracking technologies. The most popular um, that would come to mind would be Fitbit and apps to remind us when we're thirsty, um, and even banking programs where we can keep track of the way that we spend money. Um, or I'm wearing a ring right now, and this keeps track of my sleep and gives me a readiness score for every day. Uh, and my interest in looking at these technologies is how they're bringing about new modes of self-introspection, how we understand and reflect on ourselves, and also how we regulate ourselves and invite devices and algorithms uh, to participate in that regulation. Some of my colleagues approach the question of technology and society uh, from very different vantage points. Uh, for instance, Erica Robles Anderson, she's trained uh, both as a historian and a psychologist. And her forthcoming book considers uh, how media uh, is used in megachurches in different ways to produce a collective experience and a public space. One of our newest faculty members, Angela Wu, uh, studies the internet in China. So she looks at censorship as well as public opinion polls and how those are conducted in new ways using algorithms and digital surveillance. Uh, one of her most interesting current research project is about um, the social credit score in China um, and how people are constantly being rated and rating each other uh, to develop a, a sort of score for their social value or social worth.